I'm just raining coins, look. I've got so many coins, it's flying out my horses. Well, hello there, Shirley Rocks here. Welcome to Kingdom Two Crowns Call of Olympus. So, this is by a studio called Fury Studios. This game, I think this game's been out on every platform, including toasters. I've played it on uh pc i think i played it on playstation as well for a while and uh yeah this is a new um arena not arena uh an area i guess you'd call it so the last time i played this was i think it was the, the goonies one but this is a olympian one where we have mount olympus in the background and we uh play as a, a monarch and have to defend our territory and if you've not played this genre of games before it's really addictive it's 2d and you have a thing on it called i think they were called i think they were called the creep i think they were and these things come out at night and attack you and you have to build up a base and try and defend against them and uh, eventually or is it the greed? No, I think it's the greed. Yeah, you have to eventually defeat them. So I'm just excited to see what this is like because it's going to have new mounts. It's going to have uh, new uh, beasties and stuff. So yeah, let's uh, dive right in. I've not actually played any of this. So we're just going to play this for as long as it takes me to get angry. And then we will... Uh, ooh, peaceful. Cursed. Yeah, let's let's just play normal. Yeah, so it's, it's got like a day and night cycle. Generally, they come out at night and get you, and you have to make coins, and we'll talk all about it anyway. Uh, who do I fancy playing as? Um, I do not know. That definitely... Is, is that one of the greed with a crown on in disguise? <laughs> We're going to play as that. Okay, so in this game, you have to collect coins now you get coins from a number of ways you can i think you can catch fish later on but at the start of the game it's chopping down trees and opening que uh, chests secret destiny oh the monica fate a sinister call from mount olympus awaits restore the gods and fulfill their demands only a royal hero can save the lands yeah that's me so a solitary monarch carries the crown to a new thing now this tells you where to go to start but we're going to completely ignore it and go no no Oh, look, I want to go to that chest, but it's not letting me. Now, you've got a stamina, but you can't see it. You can hold down shift and you can run, which is what we are doing. And you can, like, stop on bits of grass and get your stamina back. So when you see the breathing like that, if you stop like this and go nom, 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 nom on grass. There you go. That grew, though. Was that a coincidence? Right, here's the coins. And these are the mounds. So this is where we're going to build our, our campfire. And then we throw coins on peasants or villagers. And they will join us. Okay, now this is a bow range. If I drop two on this, I will get slings, I believe it is. And they'll hunt for coins. And once they, like, get something, they'll give you um, the coins. So they'll hunt those rabbits there. And we need these things here. These are hammers. And that is the uh, builders who are going to build all our stuff up. So I've got one spur. I think I've got one spur person. Have we got a spur person? I want him to build up defences. We'll build, we'll build one. Right, let's go and see if we can find some villages. So villagers spawn in these villages. You can see them walking around like that. Oh, it wants me to do the tutorial stuff still. Right, so we've got to we've got to wait for him to finish building that. There you go. Let me let me get a little snack. Come on, snack time. Right, if I if I if I expand the land, I can chop a tree down. But if you expand too far, like say over here, I think it's if you get rid of trees on both sides, you will lose the uh, the camp. I oh, actually wants me to do it as part of the tutorial. Hey, I don't even need to tell you what to do. So, look, you get coins from these joining me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, hopefully, it's going to give me free reign so I can do stuff. I want me to get another slinger. I need to build a wall. Okay, we'll build a wall there. Now, sometimes they'll hit them and leave the coins, though, so I will grab that coin. Okay, and you can see I'm getting my second wall built there now. 
Right, let's go and grab that chest. We saw a chest to the left. So, the thing I like about this game is it's like a time management game with... I know the enemies are going to come, so you have to sort of time it and, you know, not go crazy running um, and run out of stamina if you know the enemy's coming. So, I can go and grab all this. I'm going to try and grab these two. Now, there is a few more coins here. I'm walking here rather than running. Now, that's where the beasties come. Now, one little quick little tip I will give you what you can do. If you... Now, that that's actually... Um, it's sort of a portal, that. It's, it's, they will come out of it, and if you go too near, it actually whips you. But if you do drop the coin, they will grab the coin and run away. Now, what you need to watch out for is if you don't have any coins and they attack you, then you lose your crown and it's game over. So you've got to build your defences up. You've got to get coins. You can hunt these deer, but it's it's alchemy how you do that. It's something to do with when you approach them, you can make them go a certain way. But I'm, I'm terrible at doing that. Now, if you know what the secret is to do that, let me know. Okay, so he's... Wow. Now, I'm going to... I'm going to clear these bits out because there's no there's no village there, you see. And I've got a couple of villages. So I am going to go and invest in another hammer. And I'm going to do the walls a bit stronger. So we'll do level, level two on that side. And we'll do a stronger on this side. Now, this is the trader. So the trader comes at night... Um, I need to build that one up. Yeah, the trader comes at night and gives you uh, money, but you do have to um, make sure you got your walls and stuff up. Right, so these are going to come back and do the other wall now, hopefully. And it is night time. I can upgrade this as well. This is the main village. Okay. So I give him a coin, and he will go away, come back, and give me more gold. Okay, so I think we should be set for the night now because they are coming soon. I'm going to try and invest in a few more uh, slings. So let's get a few more of these. Okay, now these take position on uh, by the walls, but I can do this as well. I can build these, which are actual towers. And they get a higher vantage point from them. So, here they come. Make sure I'm on the right sides of the wall. So, they're going to come and attack the wall. And we're going to stand behind it and try and defend against it. They will. The builders will run away from them. But they're not like... They've not got like super smart AI. So, they will actually... You know, not go... Oh, it's night time. I best not be here. So, that should be one little tower done. Nice. And they do tend to attack... Uh, different ways. So, sometimes they'll attack from one side. So, it looks like they only attack from one side that time. But then other times, they will attack from both times. And there's also, I think it's um, a full moon. Like a blood moon. They will come and they will go all out attacking you. Right. Let's try and explore a little bit to the right now. See if there's anyone wants to join me. I can see there's two already. Oh, before I go... Wandering off. I want to see what this does. Because sometimes it has scenery you can interact with. Right, so. What's this? At Island's End, a temple ruined by greed. So they were called the Greed. Rebuilding shall be your first divine deed. So that's like a, a quest I need to do. Anyway, we're going to run. and see what we can see. Right, there's a building ahead. Let's get some nom noms here. Now, you can expand the build zone, but then sometimes if you do expand, it will remove an object. Um, I think that might be a, a dock. Let's do this as an experiment. We do need to expand. If I build there, yeah, and then queue up some of these. Yeah, so 
if I build there, we might be able to have all this as our area and then use this building. But I don't know if we need to get rid of this, you see, the villagers. We'll see. Okay, you can see the villagers on the way. Let's just chill, see if they've got any coins. Nice. So you can pretty much lead them to it now while I'm uh, off gallivanting. Okay, we're going to try and build this up and see if we can get a farm on the go. And the only thing with the farm is we will need to build defences though. So we need to build it like that. And then you need to add another layer to it. But we'll chuck a few layers in this. Okay, so that's, the, that's our farm built. So we need to hire farmers. So... You dump your coins in there. Someone is going to come along, probably from the left, and they'll pick up a coin. Well, a fork. Let's see if we can spot them coming. Yes, yeah, so they'll pick up this uh, fork from here, and then they'll go to that farm on the left. Come on. Anyone want to come? I could probably entice one of these to go and do it. There you go. Right, so they'll go and grab this. And then they'll run all the way to the left. Now, the thing is, you have to be careful because he's going to go to the left or or they're going to go to the left. And if it's under attack, they don't really care. So they will just run and get themselves in trouble. So we could afford to get rid of that camp on the right, I reckon. We just need to get rid of these trees. Why is nobody... Oh, we've already got rid of some, haven't we? I'm just going to leave one there. Actually, no, no, we'll get rid of it. We'll, we'll get rid of all of it. So the wall's up. The wall in the background signifies the land is up. It's not fallen. These are all going to start growing crops and stuff now. Um, I can't do the wall any stronger, though. They're coming, so what you can do is, if you don't want them uh, getting your stuff, you can drop coins like that and spend the coins rather than lose the workers. So we need to figure out how to upgrade to the next tier. I'm going to try and do the village next. Now, that's a tower. Well, you can see, it looks like we're, gro we're growing like grapes. Ancient Greek grapes. Oh, if only, if only it'd stop here. Oh, it does. Okay. I did not know that. Well, that's made my life ten times easier. I've got a good feeling about coins now. Oh, look, so the village... Oh, yeah, so look. There's the village, all disassembled. Now, I've got a feeling we can build that back, you know, if we build on those remnants. Okay, let's go for the next tier of the uh, citadel. Let's see if we get the tax man. So sometimes when you upgrade this, you get automatically upgraded towers. Did we get him? Yeah, so this is like a little tax guy. You can, like, drop off your coins and stuff with him. Um... That's the hammer thing still. Let's see. Let's see if I can upgrade my walls now. So we've got spearmen now. Right, these are good. So these are hoplites, I think you said they are. Now, look, the, the, the harvest is in. Look, these are all harvesting. Nice. Now, can I upgrade my walls? Oh, I can't. Now, the thing with these things, the uh, spearmen, there is a left and a right. So if I build it on that side... They'll only go to that that side. So I, I want them to go to both sides. That's the tax man. I think you can drop coins and he will uh, look after them. If you want them back, you go and stand by him. I think next task should be to get this building unlocked here. Let's see what this does. So I think we just buy all the upgrades, buy it, and then we should be able to use it. Ooh, we're getting closer and closer to that pier. I want to see if I can rebuild this one. I've got a feeling I might be able to rebuild this and get more villagers. Or it could be the house for the, um, it could be a farm, this. Come on, build it. Right, it's a house. I'm sure I can build with that. It might take a while for me to register. Or it could, it could, it could be for this, you know. Yeah, that could be another farm. We'll build that bit next to it anyway. 
Or is it? I don't think it is a farm, you know. There you go, you just saw one of them fish. Okay, night time's coming. Here comes the army. So you, you can see I've got f about... I think I've got about six of those spearmen now. These are going to man the uh, ramparts. Let's move out of the way because I do not want to waste more coins. And we are going to push next turn. You can push at night. I just prefer to wait till daytime when it's weakest. Let's see, we should be able to hold this off though. Nice. Oh, some good shots there. Right, I reckon, I reckon that's going to be the attack for the night. So let's uh, let's take my army with me. So, look, just stop giving me coins. Right, now I just move near this, and then they will start attacking. I have had various tactics to this, like I, I've done it in the past where I've run near it, dropped some coins and stuff, but I'm just going to use the archers to take it on from a distance. Okay, we've defeated it, nice. Okay, that that means there's going to be a blood moon at night now. Okay, that should be the end of the level now, though, so I should be able to... I think I might be able to build a boat... Or I might have to defeat both sides. Let's, let's see what happens. This is going to be attacking at night now. So this this could... No, I do not want to do that. No, stop giving me coins. I don't want your coins. Right. I need these to defend first. Right, so we're going to try and attack at night. Let's see how we get on. Right, so we're getting in range. And we are going for it. Oh, these are new ones. Now, these have... Uh, like armor so you have to knock the armor off the face before you do anything else let's see if we can do it though and get to that rune on the left nice we could even expand all the way over here you know so let's have a little look what's this oh hello that's something new for us to build and we've got what look like stone Let's see what this is. I'm just raining coins, look. I've got so many coins, it's flying out my horses. Oh, here we go. I think this might be the way off the island. Sail forth and explore other lands. Yes, please. Oh, I love, I love that. What are they call those? Is it a galleon? I love the old um, boats like that. That is cool. Oh, so we put the stone on there. It's probably like a rare thing, like incense or something. And the builders are going to help push that. I mean, I can build up my defenses there, but we don't. We don't really need to. We're just. Uh, that's. They're going to push that all the way back to my home base. Then I think we can just get out of here. Let's see if I'm right, if I remember any of this. So this should stop here now. Okay. Then I should be able to ring the bell. And that summons your units, which will come and jump in the boat. And then whatever you take with you, you take to your next, like, area. So if I wait here for a few seconds, I should start seeing troops coming from the, the, the various ways, look. Got some running there. And this isn't as chilled as this with... I'm going to edit this video, I decided, because it's been, like, nearly 53 minutes to do this. Part of that's because I've forgotten how to do a lot of it. But also, it's uh, not a sort of thing you want to rush. So, yeah, but it's not as chilled as this, just standing around waiting. Sometimes you've got the coins, you're waiting for the stuff to come. And then you're just like, go, 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 go. And as you're leaving, they're all... No, running that after the boat as you're sailing away and a tear goes down your face okay let us go okay let's fully upgrade this and set sail off we go nice that's probably the worst ever time it's taken to do that level but it's done i only i only intended to show you the basics of the game and i enjoyed 
I enjoyed it so much that I was like, yeah, we're playing the whole level. And then we opened up the new map now. So this is a map of where we can go. So currently we're here. Um, now, the icons on this map do mean stuff. So it'll be... That, I think, is a mount. So is that one. Um, and these... I'm pointing at the screen like you can see. <laughs> these other ones are going to be resources. So... I think, logically, the next one would probably be to go for the resource one there. Yeah, I don't think it tells you what the resource is. But we'll sail to it and show you. And then we just land on it, and it's like a totally... It's like you've never even been here. Now, you watch the way they run, and you know that's the way the level's going to start. And then you have to start all over again. So, you have to find, find the uh, fireplace... Come on, come on, come on. And then you just have to do it all again. So you've got to build it all up, you've got to build all your defences up, you've got to do your hunting again. But there you go, more people to join me. And as you can see, I've got all the people with me already that were previously in the village. So it does make it a little bit easier, but then I can like hire new people again. As you can see, awesome. Yeah, anyway, so that's all I'm going to show you for now. So this is um, Kingdom Two Crowns, Call of Olympus. Let me know what you think of that in the comments. And oh, I, I've got to do some editing on this. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I don't know how I'm going to cut this down to, but that took me about 56 minutes to do that one level. So hopefully you enjoy this. If you do want to see it as a regular series of me trying to challenge the islands, then let me know. Anyway, I will see you next time. If you can do me a favour, if you can do the thing in the bottom right, like the video, leave a comment and drop me a sub. Thanks a lot. See you next time.